They only have 265 remaining. We have 399. So we've only lost 62 troops altogether. That's pretty decent, I must say. Okay, now if we can get on top of this hill here. Yes, I believe this is the best vantage point. Yes, yes, this is going to be good. If we can get our guys up top here and not be disturbed by any snake cult scoundrels, then it would be really devastating for the enemy. Oh yeah. Come on. No! You cannot deal damage to Asini. She is queen of Sini Magni. Take it. Yes. There we are. Okay, all of their cavalry is now down, and we are only against archers, by the looks of things. They do have quite a lot of filler in this particular army. I should probably just charge in. We have so much cavalry that how can we possibly lose, right? <laughs> right? How can we possibly lose now? Yes. Charge them. Teach them never to spawn near says again, unless you can give me a Qualis gem. Yeah. And that almost rhymed. Oh yeah. That's how we roll. Okay, there we go. Oh, more reinforcements coming in there. Mostly lower tier units. They can still hurt though with their two-handed weapons. As we know from previous experience. <laughs> Whoa, did you see those guys just spawn in there? Huge clump of snake cult worshipping and armsmen, followers, who all must die for the freedom and liberty of the people of Pendor. Or something to that effect. <laughs> yeah, okay. Only three enemies left. I believe that is the third round. Victorious to the kingdom of Sini Magni. Oh yeah, only six renown. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> if only we got massive renown values for every single round. That would be really, really cool. Okay, so only 76 enemies left. We are 116, they are 58, so we need to kill another 20 or so. 18 in the second wave. Come on, guys. Why are you moving that way? Aren't they over this way? What? What are they doing? No! Okay, it seems like holding position isn't in their nature. They get a little bit upset by that, so... Until I tell them to charge, it appears they would like to just go sit in the corner. How nice of them. Oh well. Hopefully my Noldor won't get taken out too harshly by the time our reinforcements get here. I would think they would be able to survive, considering they are absolute beasts. Come on! Yeah! Now, everyone cross your fingers for an achievement. And giving me... Plus 15 to Iron Flesh! <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. But something cool, like a plus one to a useful stat. That would be great. Maybe shield. I would like a plus one to shield. That would be very nice. Okay, there we go. That is the final round. Attaining victory, and now we have a chance to recruit a lot of units. Although we don't have much space, which is rather unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll take Huskarls. Sword Maidens. Noble Women. And armored axemen, I guess. Yeah. And prisoners, I can't actually take any more prisoners. Yeah. Okay. Nothing in the pool. I, I'll take these two. Uh, they're not really worth it much. Hmm. Ah, whatever. I'll take it. Cool. There we are. Whoa. That is a lot of XP. I like that. Ooh, nice heroine adventurers. I like that a lot. And Tully Knights. And there we are. I believe that is it. Leslie is rather diminished in her HP. 
Oh no, Lord Alistair was defeated in battle. By who? He's actually got a really large force. Who would have thought it? Wow. Okay. We'll have to avenge him if he gets defeated or captured again. And sell these. Golden Maned Corsa. Hmm. Well, I'm going to wait until those become non-lame horses, these two. And then I'll sell them. Do they actually gain value? I don't even know whether they gain value. <laughs> oh, I'll just sell them. I don't really need them. Okay. So. That is all cool. We are a full army once more, I believe. Yes, we are. But, just before we leave says, I am going to manage the garrison and put these prisoners in here. Oh, my... Give all button. That's what I want in Mountain Blade 2. A give all button. That would make things so much easier. Ah, uh, okay. So, yes, as I said before we engage the snake cult, they actually, if they could stop giving me messages, they actually took Falcon Dark Castle from us, which is rather irritating. No. No, I am not giving you any lords, yes. So, I think what we'll do now is perhaps go up to the north and take Poinsbrook, perhaps. As that is a rather major focal point, I believe it might be a little less defended than the one down here, for instance, Torba. Oh! Word reaches you that Kodan Ironsword has gathered nobles and knights and has joined King Gregory the Fourth. Oh no. Gregory. Oh. Uh, he has some really fearsome knights on his side now. <laughs> oh, okay, well. There's actually a significant group of enemies near Rella Keep. So should we actually go there? That might be a good idea. Let's take a look. Aha, Derek Zine is right here, actually, isn't it? Reverend. Yes, there it is. Where are the enemies? Yes, near Derek Zine. Right here. Come on. Show me. Hmm. Interesting. Did they move on? Where are they going? Pagandur. Ah, here. Okay. Lord Kasim has been taken prisoner. Oh, no. And Lady Julia was also defeated. Ah. Oh, and there's only one guy here. 317, though, he has under his command. Okay, well, we're definitely going to engage him. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's saying that it's good to see us again. Aha. Uh -huh. I will be a truer test of your skill at arms, since only good sheer luck can give you victory over me. And then he says, what is it? <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay, well, he likes us slightly, but unfortunately we'll have to take him down a notch or two. Okay, we've got a nighttime map here. Okay, let's move our troops ahead, hopefully get a bit of an incline on this slope and then be able to rain down death upon them with our many archers. Or should I say our 40 archers <laughs> and five Nordor. Hmm. I'm not optimistic about all these horses being in such a tightly knit group. Hmm. Well, they're taking people down, so I can't really complain. My horse actually took damage there? How dare you shoot my horse. Okay, take this. Yeah, charge them, everyone. Hopefully, Fierce Vein people don't like to use lances. I don't think they do, anyway. No! We've lost a Knight of the Ebony Gauntlet to the Grim Reaper. Cannot allow more of them to be claimed by the forces of evil, or should I say, the forces of the Fierce Vein. 
Evo is just a matter of perspective. Okay. So, where are they coming from now? Okay, I'm going into them from this direction. Yes, here we are. Ooh, this guy's armored. Or I'm feeble. Either one. <laughs> New enemies have arrived. Yes, okay. They have a lot of Western Rogue Knights, I must say. I am not pleased about that in the least. Oh, whoa, that guy's got a serious looking helmet. Oh, no. We are getting split up. Should I say, divided and conquered. Ah. What a fail. Failed jump slash. Ah, there we go. Nice. Ooh, they have lances. We cannot allow them to reach full speed. Or maybe they're just spears. I don't know yet. Ah, maybe they just spears. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, he blocked me. And another block. Seriously? Come on, Iceni. You cannot allow them to block your mighty strikes. Take him down. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Finally. Oh, my. I am so rusty. Uh, okay. I'm getting back into it though. I think I'm getting a little bit better with my accuracy. Ooh, look what I'm saying there. I'm getting better with my accuracy. Who would have thought it? <laughs> yeah. Take him down. Oh, yes. There we are. Only one enemy remaining, and he appears to be on a horse, I think. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Okay. There we go. 22 renown and 20 morale for defeating the first batch of Jarl Adelstein Goldtooth's party.